Racism is not new in cricket, but it's shocking that it still persists. I've come to Pakistan, a country where cricket is more than just a sport. I'm here to meet one of the world's most famous and successful cricketers, someone who played professional cricket in England for decades, Imran Khan. Nice to see you after all this time. How are you? <laughs> Very well. Yeah. I mean, what the players are now talking about, the stuff that's gone in the dressing room, I mean, we're talking... And they're hearing that in the dressing room now. We're hearing stories of how players have been urinated on from, from balconies. Muslim prayer mats being desecrated. Oh, does that... Do you recognise any of that? Uh, racism, I remember on the cricket field, uh, it was very obvious. It wasn't sort of hidden. I mean, you, you know, and I was quite young then, and so I used to get a lot of... When I used to walk into the cricket field, you, uh, you would hear a lot of comments. Was just one of them, but a lot of other racist comments. From, from fans or players? No, no, from players. Until 1992, only those born in Yorkshire could play for the club, in effect making it a white-only policy, which Imran later labelled as cricket apartheid. I was captaining Oxford, and I remember there were Yorkshire supporters sitting in the, in the pavilion in front of me, and I was going into bat. And I heard them say, uh, talking to each other and, and saying, isn't it good to see an English team without any coloured players? And I, you know, they were sitting right in front of me. Yorkshire County Cricket Club says it has implemented measures to tackle racism, improve access and ensure merit-based selection. It has been clear on facing the consequences of past failures. Stories are emerging from other counties too. Jahid Ahmed, was 17 when he signed for Essex, one of the country's biggest clubs. The, the word I received from one of the players back then was, um, everyone used to call it that. Following terrorist attacks in June 2007, things got worse for Jahid. The day after, I um, walked into the changing room. I have no idea, I remember this kid just stands up, asked me, straight to my face, goes, um, so, so, Jay, would you, would you bomb us? Wow. I, I, I've looked at This is another was, cricketer. Yes, another cricketer, a high-profile cricketer, and I could hear people giggling about it um, when he asked me, but I was... That time, I was so angry. You don't understand. I was so furious. I want to say something back to them. There's no point of saying anything. I walked away from that situation. If I'd stayed out, I'm going to cause problem there. We approached Essex County Cricket Club for an interview. In a statement, they said they have commissioned an investigation into historical allegations of discrimination at the club and said it will be premature for them to make a comment at this time. But Jahid's experience at Essex wasn't an isolated case. Other players also started to come forward. Some of the stuff that happened at Essex is horrendous. I, I hope the police get thoroughly involved. George DeBell, journalist for the Cricketer magazine, was one of the first to report the Azim Rafiq story. He has spoken to many players across the country. Maurice Chambers had bananas thrown at him, told he was a monkey. And it was not easy for him to talk. You know, it's a really, really traumatic succession of phone calls. And he did it because he wanted to do the right thing. He, he, he did it because he wanted the game to be different for the next generation. And one of the players who used the N-word to him, he just still gets picked for England, everyone knows. We asked the England Cricket Board about Morris Chambers' experiences, and they told us they're investigating and added, there is no place for discrimination in our game. We have processes in place to investigate allegations and take appropriate action where necessary. I've come to meet one of England's most successful British Asian players, Moen Ali. He's been in the England national team since 2014. With over 30% of recreational cricket being played by South Asians, why are so few making it to the professional game? There's players out there who are doing better than everybody else. People won't sign them for some reason, and the South Asian player has to be almost outstanding for, to get signed mm. most of the time, uh, especially as a trialist, whereas sometimes a white player mm. doesn't have to be outstanding, but he's getting signed. So I've come to meet Tom Brown, 
an academic at Birmingham City University and co-founder of SACA, the South Asian Cricket Academy. What do you go as far as saying that cricket has a racism problem? Racism from a, a hate sort of issue and an abuse, there are certainly incidences of that and, and we've even gathered more evidence of that in our studies. I don't think it's a purposeful, conscious decision to not pick players of colour, it's more a, in the subjective assessment of players, are we aware of all their differences and backgrounds, that means they're going to act and behave and learn differently. And what are some of those differences that you've identified? So it'll be things like, so young South Asian men, how they show respect and how they communicate with, with adults, especially sort of authority figures. So like things like making eye contact, they're more likely to look down as a sign of respect. Are they being misinterpreted for sort of a lack of interest or being rude when actually they're trying to show respect in, in the ways that culturally is appropriate to them?